So today we will have a look at what are Lopez gates and a few examples of Lopez gates in VCVREC. If you are interested in more videos about basic concepts of modular, I have a full series, a sort of a glossary in video form, going through many of the basic building blocks of synthesis in the modular environment. So there's a link in the description to this series. And let's really have a look at what are low pass gates. Basically, a low pass gate is a low pass filter that can close all the way and not let any sound through. So on the left, I have a pulse wave going through a low pass filter. And even when I close the filter all the way, there will still be some sound going through, unlike when using a low pass gate. So here I have the cutoff of the filter and I close it and I close it and I close it all the way up to where it will not go down anymore and you can still see that there is some sound going through and on the right here I have the same pulse wave going through a low pass gate in this case and when I start closing the gate you can see that we have nothing going through. Now to achieve this many low pass gates are actually a combination of a low pass filter and a VCA so when the filter closes also the VCA closes and there is no sound going through so here I have this setup I have here this knob that will control both the filter and the VCA and I have again the same pulse wave you can see that now we have it going through but when I start closing you will see that the filter and the VCA close together and now again there is no sound going through. Now this means that when the level, the volume of the sound goes down, there is also less harmonic content because the filter closes as well. So the lower the level, the darker the sound, which is more or less how acoustic instruments work, like guitars, drums, and so on. The louder you play, the brighter the sound, and the quieter you play, the darker the sound. So Lopez gates are great for keeping this organic relationship. But this is not all. There is magic in Lopez gates, and that's thanks to the Vectral. Basically, it's a component that's built from an LED and a resistor that reacts to light. So the more light on the LED or the more light coming from the LED, the more the filter and in some cases the VCA will open. So here again, I have the same setup as before. I have this knob controlling the filter and the VCA. Again, the more light, the more we will have sound, so the filter will open and the VCA. And again, have a listen to when the um, levels are down. Also, the harmonic content is quite limited. So the sound is quite dark. And when the level is up, the sound is much brighter. And this means that because of how the LED and the resistor work, how the light will turn on and off, the speed in which the resistor will react and so on, we get this natural decay to the sound. Again, something very organic that is similar to how acoustic instruments sound. So let's really have a look at a few examples. So here we have a simple sequence. I have the div sequencer from JW, sequencing the Voldemar oscillator from Lindenberg. This is going to the low pass gate from Nischi and I have also a delay, but the mix for now is all the way down. And we need some sort of a signal to open the low pass gate. It's common to use triggers or gates or very short envelopes. So I will just use the gate output. In this case, it's actually a trigger to open the low pass gate. We have here the amount, we can open this all the way. Now we have here the modes, so we can have a, a, both a VCA and the Lopez filter working together, or just a filter, and now we have also resonance control, or we can have it only a VCA, you can hear how bright the sound is, let's leave it at both. And we have also the speed in which the vectoral will work. So again, according to the light and the resistor, you can have them very short or a bit longer. Or even longer. 
So again, this controls the decay of the sound. Let's add this delay now. Very nice. I have here also white noise. Going to another Lopez gate. This one is from Bog Audio. So let's have a listen to this. In this case, we can offset the VCA and the Lopez filter. Here we have the VCA section and here we have the Lopez filter. So if I open the filter all the way and I bring the VCA up, right. we have basically a VCA together with the Lopez filter. This movement, by the way, that you hear, is coming from modulating the panning of this noise with sample and hold. Right, but now we can also say, we can also use the internal um, vectoral, the internal envelope, so to say. Um, by using again, I will use another trigger. Here we have the trigger input. In this case, I will use also R gate from Bog Audio to add some ratcheting, some clock um, multiplications. And I have here sample and hold, changing the multiplication. So sometimes it will be the normal clock, sometimes uh, multiplied by two. Right, and again, this envelope, this vectoral will control the VCA and the Lopez filter, and we can again change the amount. In this case, we can also choose to have a linear response. So there are a few more options uh, on this module. We can choose the rise and the fall response separately from linear to logarithmic to exponential for something a bit more snappy. Also the fall. And we have the response, which is basically the decay time. And again, we can change it also to long. Or we can control it with control voltage. So here I have another sample and hold. We can use just random voltage. Right, so in this case, you can really see the different components. You can see the uh, decay, you can see the Lopez filter, you can see the VCA. And this is basically what a Lopez gate is. I have here also some chords. I'm just sending a few static notes polyphonically to the oscillator from Bog Audio. So we have a four note chord. This I'm splitting into another Lopez gate from Nischi. This is the dual dual Lopez gate. Um, so it's four Lopez gates in one module. And you don't have to use triggers or gates or short envelopes. You can also use continuous voltage, something like LFOs, for example. So here I have four LFOs opening the different Lopez gates, as you can see here, one, two, three, and four. So we get continuous changes in amplitude and in harmonic content. This I'm mixing into the main filter, the main uh, mixer, sorry. There is also some movement here with uh, uh, a bit of vibrato. And again, the idea here is when the level goes down, also the harmonic content goes down or there is less harmonic content. Because it's again, it's a, in this case, it's a combination of a Lopez filter and a VCA. But also here we can change it to be just a VCA or just a Lopez filter. So here I have a few more examples. I have here the trigger sequencer as my main sequencer in this case. And the first voice is coming from Blick, from Vult, going through Yulste. 
which is another Lopez gate. This is uh, available for free in the Vult collection. And this is also quite interesting if I unmute this. So what we have here, we can choose between a VCA or a Lopez uh, filter. But with the sharpness control, we can sort of uh, blend between the two. So we can again have both a VCA and a Lopez filter. But instead of choosing one or the other, we can scan through those settings. Right, so to the left is more of a Lopez filter. And again, we have resonance control. To the right, it's more of a VCA. And we can blend between them. You can also offset, offset them. And in this case, I'm using again a sort of a trigger from the sequencer itself to open or to activate the internal vectoral. Another interesting Lopez gate, it's the commercial New Rage, again from Vult. This is a commercial module, but it's a monster. It's a really interesting module. So here I have again two bleak oscillators. I just use a um, constant pitch. So one is uh, E flat, one is G. And New Rage can work um, with two different signals separately. So you can unlink the channels and have basically two separate Lopez gates. So it's a dual Lopez gate. Let's have a listen to this. Also here we have resonance. Here we have also drive. And here we have the gate input, which again, it says gate, but you can experiment with other signals. We will see, the, uh, see this also in a second. It doesn't have to be a gate. And here again, we can unlink the channels. We can choose to use also a VCA. And we can choose to use the vectoral, so we don't have uh, to use the vectoral response, this decay of the vectoral. might be a bit subtle in this case, but still you can choose to activate it or deactivate it. And again, also here we can offset everything. With the cutoff. Another voice I have here, I have Raids. Um, this is based on mutable instruments Braids, also available as a, an alternative firmware for the hardware freak. Anyway, this is going to another new rage. And in this case, you see I'm using uh, short envelopes to open the vectoral. I have here two envelopes. Again, this is uh, in a dual mode. Let's unmute this again. By the way, if you ask yourself, I'm using the teleport modules just to teleport the um, the cables from here, for example, to the mixer, just so there are not too many cables going everywhere. And now what we can do... We can use the envelopes. And here I have the resonance all the way up. And the drive all the way up. Also, a really interesting sound. I have a bass drum, a kick drum coming from uh, plets. I have it once going directly to the mixer and the auxiliary output going to a delay with the high frequency, with the low frequencies out. So it's a sort of a rhythm. Here up I have more voices. I have here the gate sequencer in this case, and I'm using the outputs. Again, in this case, there are triggers, but you can experiment with different signals. I have them not only opening the vectoral or opening the Lopez gates, it's also the sound source. So I'm sort of pinging this Lopez gate, which is also quite fun. This is again going directly once to the mixer, and once to a delay, creating this sort of a bukla bongo sort of sound.
basically Bukla Bongo you send an harmonically rich sound source to a low pass gate and you get this nice decay organic decay and organic um, harmonic relationship between the volume and the filter and the last voice here is another bleak going to another yield stay again a low pass gate from volt and some delay and I have the neutri node sequencing or just uh, triggering this voice let's listen to this a bit right so try experimenting with Lopez gates instead of using a VCA for example um, you might get really interesting results and that's it thank you for watching and cheers you